for the first time, Stratford residents have an I-95 on-ramp at exit 33. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe was there for the ribbon cutting today and has more on the impact of all this. This is an awesome ramp. I'm excited. I want to know who's going to be the first one to go up it today. State lawmakers and DOT officials joined Stratford Mayor Laura Hoydick today for a ribbon cutting that's been a long time coming. As you can see, it's a busy area. There's a lot of traffic, which is good. But this will help move traffic and get people into the commerce area. State DOT using federal funding to open an I-95 north entrance ramp at exit 33, where there's never been one before. The congestion that I heard about being backed up into our communities should be relieved by having this kind of uh, improvement in your area. Mayor Hoydick says residents have been champing at the bit for easier access to 95. It makes travel more expedient and more efficient. But it also will alleviate some of the traffic that we have in Stratford Center off 30, off 32 and by the train station. And the relative peace and quiet of new sound barriers. So they're really encouraged at how attractive this looks and how fast this happened and how accommodating DOT and their staff members have been to our citizens. The $28 million project also includes a southbound exit ramp still under construction. State officials say the newly passed federal infrastructure bill promises more projects coming down the pike. What we're looking at as of the Monday of this week when it passed, five billion coming to Connecticut over the next five years. That's the minimum that we're starting out with. In Stratford, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut. Now the missing ramps had been a holdover from I-95's time as a toll road. Officials say they expect that work to be completed by June 2022.